Yo, what is going on guys? So today we're gonna be bringing you another unboxing and review video. All right guys, so this is what we're gonna be reviewing today. An unboxing, this is a, this is a carrier that you assemble onto your bicycle so you can carry your toddlers. Uh, this is from ages one to four, 40 pounds max. I did pick this up at our local Target. Um, Bell brand, it's called a Skipper Child Carrier, designed and assembled in the USA. So, let's see what else is on the box. Um, so in the back, you're gonna have kind of a little bit description of, of what it looks like and features. Machine, washable seat pad, removes and cleans up easily. Comfortable concert seat, five point harness system helps hold child in place. Grab bar for added protection. Fits most adult bikes 26 inches and above except for bikes with full suspension. So that's something that I'm about to find out and see if it works for our bikes. I'm not exactly sure what it means with full suspensions because our bikes are mountain bikes or um, mountain style bikes. So um, we'll see uh, we'll, we'll see if it works. But if not, it is returnable. So uh, this was about 70 bucks. Like I said, picked it up at our local uh, Target. So uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and open her up and then uh, we'll see if it fits onto our bicycle. So yeah, then after that, we'll give you a personal opinion on um, the product itself and then we'll go ahead and give you a little bit of demonstration and see how it works. So hopefully, fingers crossed it works because um, we've been bike riding for the past week and it kind of sucks that we can't take our child with us. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get it. All right, so these are the bikes that we've been using and uh, most likely we're going to be attaching it to either my girlfriend's bike or my bike. So if it doesn't work on either one of those two, we're going to have to unfortunately return it. But hopefully it works on either mine or hers. So uh, personally, I think she wanted to use it on hers. So let's go ahead and uh, take the bicycle outside and we'll go ahead and give it a, a test and see if it works. By the way, riding bikes has actually been very, very fun. We hadn't, or I personally hadn't rode bikes since my childhood, since I was a teenager. So, taking back up on the bike rides, it's really, really, really fun. Also not to mention that it does help out a lot with exercise and stress and stuff like that, so. All right, so now let's go ahead and open up the box see what we got inside all right guys so i don't have a knife on demand so we're gonna open it with uh i don't know what this is <laughs> air blower tool thing like let me see the weapon by the way that's the infamous child that's gonna go uh right with us so uh, where's he at it's not me <laughs> that one not him <laughs> that one that little guy right there he's the one that's gonna go right with us so uh yeah let's see if we can uh hopefully we can make this work i still don't know what it meant but like i said uh it says that we'll this figure is not, it out, yeah mine seems to be a full suspension on mine but yours doesn't have a back suspension so maybe I was like, where are the little, I was, I was like, where are the brackets? Okay guys, so, there's the seat. Seems like it's a very good size for him, for sure. It's Our son's a year big. and about three months now, right? I year and three months, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. It's not that I don't remember my son's birthday, I'm just not good with uh, birthdays. Do you know if we still have his walkers? Yes, we do. In the back. Yeah, you know, get a knife, guys. I'm tired of opening, uh, Packages with random monitors. Think it'll work? It should. How many stars do they have? Five. That's good. How many wood? How many people did it like? Like that? Like it was like. Is it really good? What? I don't know. I, I didn't even look into it. I just looked up uh, some carrier thing for babies, and first thing I found was that at Target. So, oh. 
Oh, the boom was the little trainer for the babies. Have you seen that one? Oh yeah, that one was like 200 bucks though. What is this for? That's... I don't know what this is for guys, right but here. I'm gonna put this to the side for now. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, as like you said, it's probably whenever you go through puddles of water and stuff. All right, guys, so first step, you're gonna grab this bracket. This one right here, comes with two of them. And then you're gonna use, um, you're gonna use these Phillips. Where are they at? You're gonna use these screws that are gonna be the Phillips. It, it, it specifies in the in the uh, little manual, use the Phillips ones, and you're gonna stick them in right here. And then you're gonna tie in the brackets down. I'm about to do this side, but that's how it should look. Oh yeah, and uh, the size for these uh, nuts is gonna be uh, 10 millimeter. Your infamous 10 millimeter, so. Uh, now let's go ahead and do the second part. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, so that's what it's going to be after they're all bolted down. Like I said, just make sure y'all don't go crazy on tightening down. So I can see this little side right here. Seems like it's wanting to crack a little bit. So um, we'll just see. We'll test it and see. If it doesn't seem safe at all, we're not even going to use it. But uh, kind of giving you a little bit of a help on in terms of the uh, unboxing and assembly. So uh, what's next? That plastic. No, 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 I'm not sure. All right, guys. So uh, this, the next step is going to be using these brackets right here. There's two of them. Then you're going to use um, these kind of bolts. This is going to be a 13 millimeter, and it's uh, self-tightening. So put them in, tighten it down. Just make sure it's kind of um, even on both sides. So that's the next step. Now. What's next? Step number seven. Yeah. Okay, so now we're gonna go to step number seven. All right, so we have to remove the seat post clamp. Guys, we need to remove the post seat. Oh. <laughs> okay, so I'm not exactly following what they said. Alright guys, so we have to remove this. So, uh, let me remove this. All right, guys. So next, we're gonna put we installed this little bracket. Uh, it comes with this. You have to take off the original seat and then you slide it in. Put that in, and now you grab this seat and you uh, set it into the bracket that we just installed where the seat was at. So I can see right here, and you're gonna use your bolt, tighten it down. So so far, that's what it's looking like. All right, guys. So now you have to tighten this part down. Uh, I wouldn't suggest tightening it all the way down, just so I can kind of y'all have a little bit of wiggle room next you're gonna grab y'all's brackets make sure um that y'all slide them in like this make sure uh don't leave them on the outside grab these and slide them in 
Can you grab this, honey? What? Nothing. Like that. See? And that falls into place. And you're gonna grab these. These are the other little brackets that come with. And then they slide in like this. And there you go. Like that. So let's go ahead and turn them down. All right, guys. So next, um, we installed this little guard. This is just for the wheels or the tires so that the kids don't stick their um, their little feet into the rim or the wheel, etc. And then after that, um, you run your little belt thing right here, and then uh, you thread it back on. So simple as that. Once the baby is in, this will be out of the way. So uh, next, I think the final steps will be the harnesses and stuff like that. So uh, we're gonna check kind of see how the harnesses go and we'll go from there so it may seem like a bunch of threading but it's pretty plain and simple so we are about a step or two away from seeing if it works on our kiddo so far it seems pretty sturdy um sturdier than what it felt like originally i guess once everything is uh, installed and tightened down it definitely um, secures up and then another thing that I like is that it comes with this kind of gives them a little bit of support to grab onto Just about. Should we to the Palamas por estas? Yeah. Alright guys, so it's been a few days since we installed this um the baby carrier seat for the bikes. So I can see. Uh we've used it for about what about a week, right? A back week. to back and it fits very, very good. And when it did say about uh it only works with bikes. Uh, that doesn't have full suspension it's pretty much talking about these that don't have the rear shocks like on on mine as y'all can see on mine has the rear shocks so i guess uh the reason for that is because with these ones that are full suspension the whole back suspension fluctuates a lot and on these ones that are solid in the back it doesn't fluctuate so that's why it says it won't really work with those then the ones with the rear suspension but it will work with these that doesn't have the rear shock uh so let's go ahead and kind of demonstrate you a little bit he, they're gonna go uh do a little bit of riding around the block and then uh we'll show you how it works so it's really safe um like i said we've used it all week and he enjoys it um he loves the car or the bike rides so there's nothing negative on that end and um the only thing that i do worry about is that eventually this little plastic uh guard will wear out eventually but uh maybe we can order uh, some new guards in the future from the internet but uh, we'll see so let's go ahead and uh go out to the street kind of demonstrate y'all he definitely enjoys it and i know it says from one to four years but um in my personal opinion i feel like the best years that this little seat can be used i'd say probably one to two years i think once they get into three and four years uh their legs get too uh too long for it to fit comfortably but that's just my personal opinion like i said right now he's a year and three months and he fits perfect so and off they go As y'all can see, he enjoys the bike rides. <laughs> it's very, very sturdy. We don't notice any uh, safety itch issues as of right now. Everything does wear out though, and eventually it will need replacing. But for now, 
We definitely give it a 10 out of 10. So there you have it guys. Um, we personally, we like it. We definitely recommend it. It's pretty safe. Like I said, we picked it up at Target. Uh, we haven't had any issues with it at all. So if y'all wanna go ahead and take y'all's little toddler out on a bike ride, this is the solution right here. What do you think, buddy? Hey, Miguel. One thing that I've definitely noticed is that um, this seat has gotten so many people's attention. Everywhere we go, when we go park at stores or where we go anywhere in public, people go crazy over the seat. I guess most people don't really know that these kind of uh, gadgets exist for bikes and, you know, so you can take your little toddler. So that's one thing to mention that a lot of people have really, it's blown people's minds with this little uh, seat and setup. So, um, like I said, many of y'all don't know that this exists. It does. Go pick it up at y'all's local Target. That's where we got ours from. So we definitely recommend it. 10 out of 10. What do you think, honey? It's a 10 out of 10. Anyways, guys. So yeah, that's it for this video. If you have any questions, comment down below. And if you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. So that's it for today, guys. Peace out.